three words. Are you ready? I'm not. <laughs> well, we'll see. All right. Oh, I thought that was the intro. <laughs> it could be. It could be. Welcome back to the channel, Park and Rec Boys. Today we are here at Elon Park. We are going to play Angry Beaver, the short tee pads, because we are not feeling great this morning. Nope. Uh, still a very difficult course over here in Valentine, about 20 minutes outside of Charlotte. Uh, a lot of tight lines, a lot of par threes and fours, and uh, a lot of trees. So bring your A game if you want to test yourself. Get on out here. Thanks for joining us, and hopefully we make a birdie today. <laughs> Let's get it. All right, hole one, Angry Beaver short. They changed the location a little bit, so it's yeah, a new, new hole one. The old hold one is now hole 16, so uh, you might want to park in a different spot. Yep. But the first hole now is a par four, 505. A pretty tough starting hole, so you got to go really straight is. through this gap here. I would say you want to get at least 250, 300 feet and uh, just maybe finish a little bit left. If you got a big forehand, you might be able to get a little more distance, but I'm honestly going to just try to hit a placement shot for the first shot of the day. So let's we'll see what we can do here. So I'm going to go with a hex here and just hopefully throw one straight. Straight into a tree. <laughs> All right, we're gonna make it a three. Gonna mid-range this first shot. Step it up to a fairway for the second. That's a beauty. Jeez, was he born to play this game or what? Perfect. He doesn't get a second one. <laughs> All right, oh. I'm gonna an F3 this time and hopefully get it a little better than that first one. <laughs> Even worse. Ugh. Did it come out? No, it, it, I'm bogey in this one. F3. Okay. Well, you're, luckily your first one was amazing. Yeah, yeah luckily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. My first shot was garbage. So I've got over 300 uh, down this tunnel. So I'm going to try this Crave. See if I can just get one down there a little bit. Ah, uh, almost. I like the idea. I'm gonna try and sneak this PA5 down this little gap here and hopefully at least get close. Terrible throw. Okay, well. Early release. We're in about the same spot now. You got that beautiful shot there. All right, I'm gonna try a pure and hopefully don't hit my hand on this tree and get one down the middle. Oh, back to the mid. Looking like a bogey. Right in the midi. Do a little forehand burgin. I'll just get down. Hit something. You're good. Got a good. Well, you know, I saw it to putt and I'm not good at that. So. Well, this is not what you want for your par on hole one. <laughs> Just short. Good run. All right, this is my first putt of the day since Mike didn't let me warm up. Oh, I almost missed it. Couple bogeys. I think we're gonna get used to that today, Mike. Yeah. We should have named our channel Couple of Bogeys. <laughs> Hole two, 290 feet, par three, They've actually done a lot of work since the last time I was out here. This might be the first time we've been out here this year. This is a new line for me. Uh, we went and took a look at it. I don't think it's a very good option, but that's obviously going to be your hyzer shot. Here, I think this is going to be a forehand, your better option. You just want to squeeze just past that um, gap and have it fade off to the right. All right, I guess I'm still up. I'm going to try a Firebird and hopefully get some that'll skip to the right a little bit. push Ooh. and that's that's a problem I'm also gonna try the firebird 
Oh yeah. That is. It's over there. That's probably parked. Let's hope so. I can't put. No, nope. I'm gonna try a berg here, and this is a challenge for sure. I'll Get take through that. there. Yeah, that's I mean. Mikeable. All righty. Put it in. I almost pulled the it's, trigger the other it's day. It's not gonna be good. I almost pulled the trigger the other day on Golly. the the, the K3 Rako. That's so bad. Woo. Good putt. Almost didn't go in. I need it. I need to throw a couple putts. All right, hole three is a pretty cool little 230 foot shot. It's a cool hole. Par three. You got to go up the hill through the gap here over that log and get something to turn just a little bit right you can throw under stable mid-range you could probably throw a putter uh, or you could forehand something uh, kind of flip it up through the gap but i am gonna try my midnight prowl and see if i can get one to turn a little bit late and hopefully get me my first birdie That's way Get straight. Get over there. Way straight. Ugh. Bad kick. All right, I'm going with the Mako 3. See if we can get it to drift. Get over there. That's another good shot. Nice. I picked the little tree, love. All right, I got to try to ante it around this tree up the hill. Or just go right into it. All right, if I don't make this, I might rage quit. Thank goodness. All right. Another par. Hole four, par three, 304 feet. One of my favorite holes out here. It's downhill across the creek. You can see the bridge there. And then it's just another 150 feet up on the right, tucked in on the right there. If you throw something dead straight, 300 feet, you're gonna have a putt at it. You don't necessarily have to push to the right, but yeah, a straight forehand or a late turning backhand gets you right at the basket. I don't have a good feeling about this. No? So it was one of your favorite holes. Leopard. Going with the leopard. Hey, why don't you put your phone on silent, Mike? That wasn't me. Brandon. <laughs> was it me? All right, I'm gonna try a leopard forehand and don't have a lot of practice with this, but figure now's a good time to try it. Come on, baby. Yeah. All right, I got a putt. Yeah. All right, I'm accepting the bogey here, and I'm gonna try something fun. Try to put a little forehand roller on down and uh, have it cut over there. That was sick. All right, it kept rolling, but yeah, I mean, pretty good That's though. That's the idea. Oh, good run. Just Stop. short. Get in there. Nice putt, Mike. Thanks. Two stroke swing. Do these anymore? I don't even know. What, the short putts? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you want to cut it down, you can. Hole number five. This is another par four. From the short tee pad, it is 509 feet. And your first shot is gonna be a forehand through the gap that you want it to finish a little bit right, or a, kind of a high little turnover shot on the backhand. Uh, probably just wanna get 250, 300 up and then a little bit to the right. It's definitely more of a placement shot. You don't wanna go too far straight or you'll be in the trees uh, kind of cutting you off. So I'm gonna try a race and and hopefully just get through the gap and up to the right. All right, that tree helped me. I'm gonna go for the big shot and try this era. Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. There's nothing doing over here, so I just gotta pitch out. Am I behind a tree? Uh, there you go, Mikey. That looks okay. good, I think, Probably right? Got a long putt from there. 
All right, we're gonna go with this Firebird. See if I can just flex it down there. Ah, oh, shh. Army golf, boys. All right, we're gonna try to P2. Oh, dude, I thought that was money. Fucking spider webs. Good run. Almost. Was it maybe like... Hole six, par three, 329. Straight up this gap and off to the right. You can kind of see it through the woods right there. Uh, your shots are gonna be backhand turnover, just a slow ride to the right, or a flip up forehand um, that's kind of standing up as it's pushing over and ending to the right. And Mike's got a box. All right. I'm gonna try something new. Try to forehand this TL3 and see if I can do that second option Tyler said on a little hyzer flipper. Pretty good. Not bad. I mean, Pretty good for a forehand. Not bad for a little mid range or fort fairway. All right, I'm gonna try the backhand. We're going F3. I keep pulling this disc, so hopefully I can hit a line with it. Pulled it. Oh, so close. Pulled it. All right, I'm gonna try to forehand the zone up there. Oh, that looks good. Get down. Nice shot. Thank you. Beautiful shot. Still got a long putt here for birdie. Oh, <laughs> almost. Look at that. Barely right over the dang. Hole seven. 331 feet. Same distance as my longest ace. Hey, mm -hmm. let's go. Oh, okay. And it is a sweet little tunnel shot. Maybe slightly downhill. Elevated basket. I would say whatever you can throw the just straight 300 feet is mm -hmm. going to be your option. Um, I'm going to try my F3. And... Probably if I throw it good, I'll go a little right of that tree in the middle. Um, if you go Come left, it does slope right. away, so you can end up, you know, with a, kind of a long putt if you go left. But I mean, honestly, you just got to lace one. So see what we can do. Calling his shot. Now just go in. Oh, Mike, nasty, solid. I really have no idea. Throw the same thing I just threw. Nothing feels right today. There's nothing feels or right. Or leopard. You're leopard. F3. Flip. Is that the hill you're talking about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think the branch <laughs> did it, not the hill. All right, I'm just kind of trying to forehand this bird just right up to the base. Oh my gosh. Oh my it gosh, it's perfect. Right. Heiser around the tree putt here. This is not my bread and butter. You're one for one so far. Oh, good run. Well, not a good drive. At least I got off the bogey train. Hole eight, another par four, 539 feet. You got two options, either side of this tree. Uh, your probably best option on the right would be a flexi forehand. On the back, something with speed, understable. The main thing is, is you want to get up to the corner. You can see that tree with the arrow, arrow on it. That's the back side of the fairway that then goes down to the right. And the basket's another 300 feet, 250. It's a tough hole. I'm going to try a little firebird inside and hopefully just get it up to that gap. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. I'm gonna go make a three on this left side and hopefully it just holds right. Ooh. That's an ankle breaker. Get over there. You're better than mine, but you're gonna have that. There might gap. be an alleyway. I don't remember if there's one deep or not. If 
Perfect in the middle. All right. All right, we got a tough shot here. I'm gonna go with the F3. And try to stand it up and push left. That's the shape, I just missed the line. Oh. All right, well, we're par, par battling. Well done, Mikey. All right, a little short, but you got that. And with the bird. A little four hamburger. No. Bad breaks all around. All right, got a long par attempt here. Get up. Mm, good run. Back on the bogey train. Good putt, Mike. Pars feel like an accomplishment. I can't get any. <sighs> I've bogeyed over half the holes. Hole nine, 333 feet, uphill, double fairway. You can go down the tight left side here, forehand maybe if you're a beast, and flip one up and go to the right, or a turnover backhand. Or what I think I'm gonna try to do is throw something down this right side and get lucky and hopefully finish left back toward the fairway. Um, it's a, this is the same for both short and long. You got so big germ on the tee. It's a pretty tough hole. Um, but also it becomes much more difficult with a headwind that we have today, so. Mm. Good practice. So I'm gonna try an undertaker and see if I can kind of flip one up and just keep it straight down that right side. Looks great, Mike. Hyped. All right, I'll take that any day. I've accepted loss, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit this turn on the left side. Oh, oh, oh boy, what a shot. I have no idea where that went. You're good, you're, I mean, you're probably pin high left. So I'm gonna try this bird. Come on, ooh, great run. All right, close. Long birdie. Oh, good run, dude. Nice. Gotta love the bird. Hole 10, par three, 308 feet. You just wanna pipe this gap with something straight and it's just barely up on the left. So your straightest disc and just have it finished to the left just a little bit. We'll get you a birdie putt. Try this Undertaker again and see if I can Throw it like I did on the last one. Oh, a little outside, but I might get away with it's it. It's going to come back. Okay, way right, but. I'm gonna try maker three just cause I can't seem to throw anything right today. That's a beaut. Nice shot. Thank you. We'll see if I can throw a Mega 3 300 feet. All right, this is a pretty tough birdie putt, but gotta give it a run. Oh, Good run, Mike. A little long. All right, birdie putt. It kind of falls away from the basket, so hopefully it doesn't pick up and roll. Oh. We should play a game where I putt for you and you putt for me. That was impressive. I hate life right now. Ooh, nice putt. Thank you, James. All right. Hole 11, another par four. This one is 505. Pretty cool hole. You gotta throw your first shot through this gap down about 250, and then you need it to go left as far as you can. And then your second shot uh, is a tough little fairway. You're going to have to kind of throw it up and then fade it into the left unless you go straight through the trees. So good birdie if you can get it. Uh, I'm going to try a sidewinder and just hopefully get one down there a little bit. Nice, Mike. Oh, oh last tree, tree. back a little bit. But last good. tree got me, but. All right, we're going to Firebird. Got 
got lucky. It got real lucky. Yeah, I, we'll see. If... I'm gonna forehand this Rock 3. I've had one really good forehand with this. It was at, um, where was that? Where is it? Gastonia? Bradley. It was at Bradley Center. If you haven't seen that video, check it out right here. All right, I'm gonna try a hex through here. Really just gonna keep one straight to try to give me something for birdie. Uh, long putt. Yeah, mate, nice. Got, got up there a little bit. All right, we're going with the forehand bird. Oh man, I thought that was gonna just, that was gonna make your whole day okay. Right nope. There. Get up. Nice, Ooh. Mike. Barely. All right, we're here at hole 12. It's 235 feet, a little shorty, downhill. Uh, it's hidden behind a couple trees down there. You can throw anything. I would throw something um, with a slow speed. You can even just hit the hill before it and slide it right down. I'm probably going to try a forehand bird. I'm going to go with a little more juice. And I'm going to try the hex on a forehand. See if I can just get one straight down the pipe there. Come on back. Come on back. It coming back. Ooh, a little long maybe, but should be fine. Man, that was trash. Doinka. See if we can swing one in there. Nope, too low. Good line, just too low. I hate disc golf. Oh. She wanted to come out of there. Hole 13, this one is 265 feet, tunnel shot straight up the hill. I usually throw a flippy fairway or maybe, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'd say that's it. Road runner, I'm, I'm gonna try the F3 today. And yeah, just throw it hard and hopefully Heiser flip one up the middle. All right, just gotta get some juice on it. Get it through. Still short. I wish I could get some luck. Leopard. Wow. Nice. Thanks. What am I doing? Nice birdie. Thank you. Whew, that was sure. a hill. I know, I'll warm you out. Hole 14, par three, 297, tough hole. You gotta get off this gap, a uh, pretty tight gap off the tee, and then it just goes way right. So whether you wanna try and throw a backhand turnover and have it just hold that right turn, or maybe a understable forehand, either way it's tough to get to the basket. And I think Mike's got the box. No, you birdie. Oh, I got the box. You trying it? I think so. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try this PA5. Forehand, I think, is a safer shot. But if I can hit this gap, it should hold for a good long time. Not high enough. So you wanna go right way earlier than that. All right, I'm gonna try this uh, TL3 and see if I can get one to just finish right. I mean. I don't think I've ever parked this hole. It's very difficult. That's the problem. You just go right into the dang tree. Well done, Mike. Thanks. All right, I'm gonna try to squeeze a bird through this little gap. There's tiny trees right there. Well done. It's up there. That almost hit Mike. Great putt. 
Thank you. Happy I could save par. Thought I was about to screw up my, my streak. Hole 15. This one is 285 feet, par three. This is the old 18 before they changed it. I wish it was 18. Uh, I'm over it, it just basically, I think it's out of bounds on the left. And it, for me, it's just going to be a, a forehand hyzer shot with like a wraith up and you just want to finish right up the hill you could also throw a backhand and try to turn it i just think it's a harder shot all right i guess i'm going with the harder shot well f3 it's harder for me no it's harder i just don't have that forehand but he's got the backhand Ooh, oh man hit that a tree thing, that thing looked like it was going to be underneath yeah it. it was looking great but all right i'm going to try wraith and if I can keep it Nothing tight enough to that. the corner, hopefully I can get close. Oh, well, come on back. So close, man. Ah. Hey, not bad. All right, we're going P2. Good shot. You suck. Ooh. Oh. Great run, Mike. At least you're doing something good. Yeah. All, All right. right. Hole 16, par three, 325. Fun hole, hard hole down this hill. You got two gaps that you can choose, one on the left and one on the right. I'd say the left gap is more of your backhand turnover side. Did I say, yeah. Right gap is your forehand straight finishing to the right. I'm gonna try this PA5 on the left. be fine a little too much right. turn you need to push a little further before it actually, turns that far i'm gonna try a midnight prowl actually down the left and hopefully get this thing to turn nope Ugh. oh, oh man. man last hole that was Archery. so good Whatever. Beauty. Oh my God. I mean, what, 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 what? Nice. Thank you. All right. That was scary. Except the bogey. Well, we didn't mention there's OB behind the basket. Hole 17, 305 foot par three. Is that a disc over there? All right, try this again. Hole 17, par three, 305 feet. There is OB on the right side, and maybe OV if you go way left down into the creek, but really just a forehand straight up through this gap and you want it to turn gently to the right. Backhand, just a little turnover, probably mid-range or fairway. Uh, I think Tyler's still up. Am I? I'm gonna try this F3, see if I can push it far enough before it turns, if it turns. Fell out of my dang hand. Got a sweet little kick though. That's gonna be just fine. All right, I'm gonna try a wraith and just hopefully I can keep it away from that out of bounds. That I think came out sassy. Kept it away from the out of bounds, but I did not throw it how I wanted. All right, I'm gonna try to make up for this terrible drive with a good putt. No, kick off the tree. Thank you. I'm not sure that I've made a putt all day. Let's no better time than now. One. <laughs> Just trying to keep a streak going. Last hole. We're pretty sure they made this one the last hole because it's it's a tough one. It's beautiful. It's fun to play. Pretty sure that's why they switched up the order. Uh, but it's a par four, 566 feet. You can throw whatever you want to get out to the middle. Your second shot, I don't know if you can see that dirt path up there, but your second shot kind of follows the dirt path up to the right. You gotta get around some trees and then it comes back left. Tough shot, tough hole. It's a good 18. All right, I'm gonna go with this era. Dang, boy. That's smoked. 
That's pretty good. Nice. I love that disc. I'm gonna try this boss. I'm really just gonna try to kind of hyzer flip one and stay down that right side. Pretty good. Try a sidewinder. This is still pretty far up the hill and around the corner. Got a little headwind, so hopefully this thing will hang on. All right, might be a little deep. Beautiful, Mike. All right, I don't have quite the angle Mike does, so I'm gonna have to try to go high. I'm not good at these shots, and it feels like we got a little right to left. So hopefully I can get this Firebird up and over. See it? That's good. Sweet. Uh, he actually threw on top of his disc. <laughs> Bravo, Mike, bravo. There we go. <laughs> birdie, birdie. What Let's a go. finish. That's how you finish, boys. Well done. That is 18 holes at Elon Angry Beaver Shorts. I will say, if you want to actually have a decent time, play the shorts. Yes. There's some birdies. If you keep it in the middle, you can score okay. The longs here are quite the test though. Yeah. We finished strong, managed to birdie 18, which I wouldn't have thought no, we would star frame one. that one. So a yeah. couple of good shots to finish, but uh, awesome day, awesome round. If you are anywhere near Ballantyne, definitely come give this course a play. Absolutely. Yeah, and if y'all are wanting to play Eager Beaver and Angry Beaver, I would recommend Eager Beaver first, because after you play this one, you're gonna wanna throw your bag away. Appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. See y'all soon. Peace. Peace. Good round. That was fun. Good round. Checking out another beaver. This time it's Angry Beaver.